last time on the Hardcore Iron Man, I achieved 87 Slayer and obtained the Trident of the Seas. And with that in my arsenal, I need to keep upgrading my magic gear, so it's time to take a risk and complete Mage Arena 2. It's time to head out into the wilderness. Before we get into the episode, I am so close to 100,000 subscribers, only about 200 away. So if you are not subscribed, I would really appreciate it. If you do, it would mean a lot. And if you do want to support further, I do have channel memberships. You can become one with the join button down below. Either way, let's get into it. Now, of course, before I go do Major Arena 2, I gotta complete the first one. So first things first was to make the trek to the Mage Bank in the Deep Wilderness. Talk to Collodion. And all you gotta do is you gotta kill him and his, like, 5 billion forms. Really no biggie. And wow, the mini quest is over. I, I wish that was everything, but it's just the beginning. The premise of the second one is you have to go around the wilderness and kill different demons that are aligned with the gods. And once you kill all three, you're able to claim an upgraded god cape. In order to kill them, you have to use the god staff and its proper spell... And the only way to use those spells outside the mage arena is to cast the spell 100 times. And you gotta do that for all three. I would definitely say this is like half the process. You're just chilling at the mage arena, completely in danger, and uh, you're just casting each of the spells basically up to 300 times. So it's like 15 minutes. Thankfully, I didn't see anybody. And then I was off to the final part of the quest where you have to find the three big god demon dudes... On the way, I did remember to go over to the Scorpia cave, walk in once, come back out, and that way I unlocked the Scorpia Dances music track, which has just been haunting me forever. Uh, you actually need this for a hard clue step, and, uh, you know, I've dropped it every single time. So that is one more clue step that I'm able to do. As for the fights, they're very simple. You just kind of dodge one special attack that they have. I would say the Ceridoman one is probably the easiest. At least in my opinion. Guthix definitely can be challenging because um, he can just keep throwing the healing orbs out and it takes forever. But I literally didn't get like any at all. So it was very, very easy. And especially with how high my magic is and stuff like that, they went really quick. Highly recommend using the charge spell, which requires 80 magic. It boosts your god spells significantly. It makes them hit like 30 rather than a 20 max hit which is very big. And yeah, sorry, I didn't really have any uh, reaction footage for really much of this. Uh, the audio was horrible, so you get to listen to my post-editing voice. Amazing. I made it. Let's go. Turning in the last demon item to Collodion. Excellent work. All right, use a god cape of your choice. All right, so... I've been thinking about it. You know, as a hardcore, it kind of makes sense to use Zami because it's red. It would go really well with uh, the color. But I had Zami on my uh, old iron and, you know, I saw it for two years. I would like to maybe mix it up. So I'm going to grab the Sarah Doman one. I don't think I've had an account with a Sarah. Maybe I have. But I really do like this cape. So we're going to use it on there. There we go. That looks really, really good, man. The best mage cape in the game. The big part of it is the 2% magic damage bonus. I will say 2% isn't that significant though. Uh, I'm pretty sure with my current mage setup, I don't even get a max hit. Uh, but there probably are level brackets where this will give me a max hit. So good to have. And it, you know, it just is a cornerstone of the mage gear. And a flex on the hardcore. But can I really flex? Because uh, I just, you know, I went with the boys. Uh, my, my rationale with it is it's the wilderness. Everything's fair game. And it was just a fun night on Discord with my friends. <sighs> I'm ready to move on. That was uh, enough of a heart attack for one day. The mage gear is looking clean. Tons of upgrades to be had, especially in the top and bottom. Uh, and that is uh, the second part of today's video. We're going to be going to Barrows. We're going to be returning. Uh, last time I was here, I did 100 chests with, you know, I guess moderate luck. It wasn't that many items, but I did get good ones. So... I'm going to hold myself to this. The main goal is to get the Mauritania Elite Diary done, which uh, the biggest task is here. Loot the Barrow's Chest with any complete Barrow set. So looking at my log again, I just need to finish any of these sets. 
That's the goal. It can be, you know, 50 chests. It could be 100. It could be several hundred. We're going to stay and finish. And on the way, hopefully, get Arums, get the other Carol's piece we need, or anything else that's useful. Um, I love Barrows, and it's going to be a lot of fun, especially now that we have the Trident from last video. It's going to be a world of difference. Good morning, 87 woodcutting. I suppose whenever I get back to Slayer, I'll go and try to get a Dragon Axe, and that way I could boost a plus three and cut Redwoods if I wanted to. Every time I come here, I forget the spade. <laughs> the very first chest of the grind is a really good selection of runes. So another change from last time is I had to bring a Dueling Ring uh, to restore my stats, so I did that, and then I went to my house. Uh, to go through the portal, but now I got the uh, the pool everything is good including my run and right back to the portal Life is so easy. Okay Arum's staff we were <laughs> we were literally just talking about Arum's and That's kind of funny. Um, I don't think that has any uses. I'm not entirely sure never lucky dude. Oh, the 450 death runes the death rune stack is looking good over 3k Boom! Carol's Bolt Rex! Wow, um, <laughs> apparently that's a new item. Okay, it kind of spooked me. I thought I got a new Barrow's item. So, um, yeah, I've been doing my kill count to where I can't get Bolt Rex. Get more Blood Runes and stuff that way, but I guess that's the first time I fucked up and got them. I'm actually feeling it. This is going to be an item right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or not. Oh, okay, it doesn't really seem that bad. We're, we're sitting at 141 now, so that's uh, 41 into the the grind, right? The thing is, though, um, we've gotten one item, right? We got the uh, staff. I don't remember the KC, but the item before that was at 69. So we're, what is that, like 72 with one item, basically? I guess two items. We'll, we'll, we'll get lucky again. It's fine. But uh, it, it's not making this early grind enjoyable. That's for sure. Ooh, finally. Uh, dude, literally make a clip the previous kill. Sort of complaining, and you shall receive the Darox Great Axe. Wow, it's still worth over a mil. That's crazy. Look at him. Can't say I care to get full Darox, um, but like, I'm just hunting really any set, right? So we are now two out of four on Darox, two out of four on Guffins. That's the progress so far. Right. I was going to make a clip for 150, but I did get an item. Darox Plate Body. Unfortunately, I'm literally already wearing one. The first duplicate in the log. At least it's worth a lot. I think it's like, yeah, 800k. Damn. Just more bank value, I guess. All right, you know, this has been a place that I have not been to in a very long time. Tears of Guthics. Uh, a couple videos ago, I mentioned that prayer is now my lowest skill. And it just, I completely forgot about it, as usual. So I'm, I'm going to start doing weekly Tears of Guthics. Let's see how much XP I get, first of all. See if it actually is worth it. I don't really know if that's how much I should be expecting, but 173 tiers is... 11,000 prayer. Okay, I, I do get 10% extra with the hard lumberage. Okay, you know, 10 to 12,000 prayer every week for a couple minutes work. I think that's worth it. The rationale is, you know, prayer is like kind of a, a double skill. You gotta bank it, and then you gotta do it. Boom. Hmm. Unfortunate. 200 Casey. When is my next item? Uh, you know, someone told me to headbang the chest earlier, and I totally forgot to do it, so. Headbang. Oh, wait. Hold on. There you go. A fucking load of shit is what it was. Ooh, 233 bloods. That is a really high roll. 950 chaos. I have never seen it that high. <laughs> it's really too bad that, like, chaos just doesn't matter to me because we're done with the Zenites. You know, we're done with all of our Onyxes. Oh, that would have been so good, like, you know, three, four months ago. <sighs> this is a monumental moment. On Tyler moment. This chest right here, 237 is in fact 87 dry with an, uh, the last time i got was that duplicate derax plate body for me it feels so long ago this is officially six times dry if i don't get this item oh my god please just show me something man no what a terrible no <laughs> damn that was a pretty good herb run 89 irits and yeah my herb stacks are getting pretty massive uh, i have really been Making it a point to do my herb runs, especially this weekend. I wasn't even home. Anytime I did have free time, I would just hop on mobile, do a herb run. Uh, and we're really getting through it. I mean, we're already halfway done with the Irrits. Still got a long ways to go, but I just want to get this all cleared down to zero, basically. 
So I'll be at a clean slate and I will know where I stand in terms of the Herbalor. Right now, uh, if I check the uh, banked Herbalor XP, we have apparently 86 banked with just this uh, from 83. Add what we have here. Maybe we can get to like 88. I don't, I don't really know. I'm kind of excited to see. I will say that weekend away from RuneScape was very refreshing after going Super Jaya Barrows. I can uh, come back now with a, uh, I guess, fresh mind, and uh, we'll break this streak. We're going to break this streak today. It's going to be great. We're going to get some good items, I hope. I should have stayed away this weekend, bro. Like, why did he even come back to the game? Oh, yes. The dry streak is done. <laughs> it's actually a really good item, too. Oh, we just barely scraped by these seven times dry. Whew. All right. That, that's a worthwhile drop, I'd say. Ferex Helm, good to have. Now we're going to hope that the items start flooding in. All right? All right. My roommate is going to open up this chest. Good luck. All right. Easy game. Watch this. Aaron Robes top. Boom. Oh, boom. Oh. <laughs> I lied. My bad. <laughs> You're never doing that again. <laughs> you just fucking sprinted out of my room. All right. Okay. Try it again, brother. Okay. Boom. It's not gonna happen. I'm so driver. Double item. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Okay. In in Barrow's defense, I did say double item. I have never seen 580 death runes. That is so many. What the hell? Did I just roll six death rune drops? Oh. Ooh. Yay. My favorite item. <laughs> I, dude, I'd rather just not get any item, man. <laughs> I straight up, it's the worst Barrow's item in the game. <laughs> Gonna put that in the bank. Forget we ever got it, dude. <laughs> hey, it's the 300th item on the collection log. All right, all right. That's the only positive. I'm so dumb. All right, my last clip, I like, I double clicked record, so it just paused it. All right, we, we just got the Aram's hood. Very cool. You know, we're not getting very many items, but they they have been unique, generally. So that's nice. Two out of four on Arams, uh, if we check. You know, we, we are missing the good Arams pieces, which is kind of trash, but hey, we're getting new items. The long darkness hopefully is over. Okay, I, I woke up today and I was like, it's going to be a different day, all right? Here come the drops. And I, I might be the only person excited for a Carol's Coif, like honestly, but... I'm kind of holding out for Carol's to be my first set that I finish, because uh, I might have some cool plans with it. All right, this is a very important chest, and I'll show you why in just a moment. If you look at the chat box, uh, my barrows broke three chests ago. <laughs> I've been doing three chests straight with just broken barrows equipment. Love to see that. Oh, oh, <laughs> that got me. I thought that was new, damn it. That's like one of my first pieces, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's a duplicate. You know, it's... It's worth, it's worth a bit. To the bank. Oh, oh, I did it. It happened again. It literally happened again. <laughs> I saw, oh, good drop. It's a duplicate, but it is, that is probably the most expensive duplicate, right? All right. Two mil to the bank. Okay. Now we're really getting items. That is three in legitimately nine chests. That is awesome. New item, Torag's Helm. Ah, another Rassard. Mah. Nice. It took so long <laughs> to get a new item. Torag's plate body. Also, because Derox and Torag's are identical, I'm just going to switch to Torag's. Uh, you know, maybe change the mojo a little bit. And wow. What is that shape on a female character? <laughs> that is better. The Derox helm. All right. You know, that's three out of four on Derox. Look at that. 400 Barrows chests. All right, we're currently doing a Elite Clue. I, I know I haven't really been showing them at all. That's because I've had to drop literally every single one. <laughs> but this one's kind of cool. I have to go to the Dagonoth King's entrance, which I had not a fun step. But I'm pretty sure I can knock out a Fremenic Diary on the way. Yeah, right here. Visit the Lighthouse from Waterbirth Island. So you have to travel to the DKs, basically, to do this anyway. So I can knock this out. Step done. There you go. And now I just run all the way to the east. You have completed a... It's a medium diary task. <laughs> this is actually another interesting step. Uh, I have to go to the Dragon Tooth Island, which is all the way over here. 
Um, and you take a boat from Port Phasmatis right here, and it costs 25 Ectos, and you can actually pay 500 to make it free permanently. So I'm just going to go do that. I don't have any Ectos in the bank, but I do have a lot of banked um, bone meal and buckets of slime, because I've occasionally done the daily where you turn bones in for that right here. 182 dragon bones. So let's do a couple, couple chips of this, and we will be able to get some Ecto tokens. 74 prayer. Uh, if I pay 500, can I get unlimited trips? There we go. Nice. So now I can do this without ever having Ecto tokens. That's super nice. I mean, you don't have to be here very often, but there's a couple of clue steps. And we'll put the rest of the tokens in the Bone Crusher. And now we're at 25,000 charges. Please be the casket. No! Alright, this is guaranteed to be the last step, but just watch. It's going to be Wilderness. Just, just watch. You know, who called it? This game is awful. I'm telling you. Ooh, 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 that is a good drop to break the dry streak. Okay. 441, so that was um, 67. Damn. So we, are, we are now 3 out of 4 on 3 sets right there. These 3. And, uh, I mean, Guthins is a good set. I, I'd be I'd be fine to finish that first. Uh, it was my first finish set on my Iron back in the day. Um, there's not too many uses for it, honestly. But it would be kind of cool um, for, like, early DKs. Still holding out for any of these four items, though, man. This is literally why I came to Barrows. That's not new. I don't want it. Did not expect to get 85 defense. Just from being uncontrolled with the whip. And the uh, defense XP from the Trident, which, let me tell you, is not very much. Oh, shit! That's such a good item! Yes! I mean, even on its own, it's actually pretty cool and might have some uses, depending. Uh, but it's just one more to the set of Carols, which um, now we're three out of four on four different sets. Yay. There it is. I finished the set. <laughs> it's done. It only took 494. Oh my god. The full Derox. So now I can go and do the Mauritania task. Get another KC, I guess, and uh, see where I stand. I've done it. The Elite Mauritania Diary is complete. Let's talk to the Saber and get our reward. Beautiful, dude. Feels good. This is the first Elite Diary done on the account. And realistically, where like how far my account has been progressed, I, I can complete a couple more. Uh, I'm going to wait on it, but this is the first of many. Now we're going to plop the lamp immediately into prayer. Definitely the skill I'm going to be lamping stale. At nearly 75. First off, I do get a little bit more XP in the Slayer Tower, which will add up during my gargoyle tasks. Second, the Bone Crusher now gives full experience. So when you first unlock this, it only gives you half. And now it's going to be full. That doesn't sound like much, but over the course of all my Slayer going forward, that will definitely add up. And it actually has got me thinking, I might go unblock Worms now. Um, I had them blocked as of recently because I don't really care for them that much. And I didn't like banking the bones. It took too long. But if I get full Burial XP, I could just bury the bones and not really worry about it. So maybe I'll unblock that and then re-block Drakes or something. I don't, I don't do Drakes, so... We'll see. That might uh, change this layer a little bit. And finally, I unlock the ninth herb patch in the game, which is here on Harmony Island. Definitely not the most convenient place, but uh, there actually is a teleport here, uh, right here with the Archaea spell book. Uh, 65 magic, so um, I could just put that in my house, maybe, or just run here from Ecto. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. But uh, yeah, one extra herb patch per run doesn't seem like much, but I'll be getting through my herb seeds a lot quicker, which is great. I still have such an excess in the bank. I want to get through them. And that's pretty much it. Pretty decent Elite Diary. Not the best, but very glad to get done. And what a trek it was to get this full set. Man, uh, definitely one of the uh, the longer Barrows Grinds I've done uh, for a set. Most people are going to get their full set around like 200 maybe, 250. So yeah, it was a long time. And overall, I, I, I'm really disappointed <laughs> with how this turned out. It looks like I have a lot of items, but I really don't uh, at this KC. And out of these items, I would say there are five good ones that you're definitely going to find some uses. You can see that I only have one out of the five, which kind of sucks. Um, I might find a use for the Carol's Crossbow, you know, I might. 
use full Derox. Really doubtful. I have I have Nightmare Zone done. If you guys forgot, I, I have all the points I'll ever need. So this would only be useful at Mole, which I don't even know if I'll do on this account. So it's not that I wasted my time here, but yeah, it was like well over 40 hours. And uh, I didn't really come out with anything like substantial in the uh, upgrade department. So it is what it is. Like I said, I might go back to Barrows. I mean, I, I do like it, but it is something you can definitely skip. So we'll see. However, I did get a lot of runes from Barrows, which was nice. We got 45,000 death runes. Uh, I probably used maybe eight to 10,000 uh, to keep recharging my trident. So we profited at least like 30, 35K. Um, and uh, these are all the items we got in the uh, 395 kills in this video. This might be Barrows laid to rest. Also, I completely forgot, we did get the uh, Mage Arena 2 cape in this episode, which is actually huge. I'm, I'm very happy we have that knocked out. And uh, we can just move on. Um, we're going to move back to Slayer now that we're done with this. Uh, we are not too far from 88, and the goal now is just continue on for Zora. We need to get 93 to do that grind, and there are a lot of fun stuff on the way. And I'd also like to thank my channel members. When I started it last video, I wasn't really expecting anyone to do it, so the fact that we have three rat supporters now is insane to me. Thank you to you guys. You guys are awesome. But holy moly, I do actually have one rat monarch. Thank you, Mr. Solaset. You're a beast. I appreciate you, man. You guys are helping me grow a rat army. By the way, if you haven't yet, go check out the live stream over on Twitch. The link is always in the description. I'm really getting to some risky content on the hardcore, so if you want to see that live, follow me over there. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.